So you have some files that you need to import into Xactimate's X1 platform, but you don't know how. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to import and even export Xactimate compatible files into the X1 platform. And if you find any value from this tutorial, remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss out on these awesome Xactimate tips brought to you by Adjuster University. So, as you can see, we've got the zip file right here in our downloads folder. I cannot do anything with this zip file as it is right now. You know it's a zip file because you see the little zipper on it. Now, if for whatever reason you downloaded a zip file and it doesn't look like this, if you don't have the ability to open it, then you may not have any unzipping software. Usually it comes native to whatever platform, whatever laptop, PC that you're using, but if you just can't open it, just do a Google search for any unzipping zipping software and you should be good to go from there. Now assuming you are already good to go, we're gonna go ahead and unzip the files from inside this zip file so that we can import them into our Xactimate. I'm just gonna double click on it here. Now that we've clicked into that zip file, we see another folder. This folder is named Six Figure Macros for Xactimate. What we need to do here is get that folder out of the zip file. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing this and this is just what I do. I'm just gonna highlight that and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to cut. Then I will go back to the downloads folder. Now if I right click, I'll notice at least for me on this computer, I don't have any paste button, but if I hold the control button down and the letter V, it pops right up. Now I can easily double click onto the file and open it up and I see two files here. These are ESX files. Anytime you have an estimate that you created inside of Xactimate, if you save that estimate, it will save as a .esx file. So what we need to do from here is get these ESX files into our Xactimate and here is exactly how. Jump over to our X1 platform. Here's my X1 and I'm going to go down to tools. Once I'm in tools, I'm gonna go over to data transfer. Now we have import and export right here. Now this is exactly how you can import or export whatever files. It's the same process. If you need any help, if you don't understand how to export, let us know in the comments. We'll reach out to you and help you get it figured out. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to import. Just make sure import is selected, then click on the little folder right here. Once you click on the little folder there, go ahead and find the folder that you placed all of the ESX files in or whatever other Xactimate file that you're working with. In this case, I would go over to downloads and there we go. There's a six figure macros for Xactimate. Now I will select that, click on okay, and I'm brought right back to the screen. Now I will go to this button right here, select data. Click on that. Now this will show all of the files that are potentially going to be imported into your X1. You don't need to select all of them. Sometimes an adjusting company may give you a folder with a hundred different Xactimate files in there and you really only need a couple. Well, this is how you would selectively choose which ones you're gonna import. So in this case, I wanna import both of them. So I will go and select this one and I will hold the control button down and I will select the second one. And as you can see right here, I have to select it. This is the general six figure macro that we offer at Adjust University as a part of our Xactimate Gold training suite. And this is the smokers macro. This is this one is a godsend. This one is the macro that you use for any super complicated fire claims, especially those tricky ones where it's a fire in one room, but you had smoke billow all throughout the house. You got to clean, seal and paint. You got to use special line items. Those were the losses that I always spent the most amount of time on. And this macro cut it down to a fraction. Now that we have the these two selected, we just go to import right there and you can see the connect status, succeed, succeed, import, successful. Those have now been imported into our Xactimate X1 platform and I'll confirm it with you by showing you how the six figure macro or just generally how copying one estimate into another works. So here we are inside of a estimate in Xactimate. Now, as you can see, this is the sketch tab and there is nothing here. So let's just imagine that you are working on a claim, working on a loss, working on a job, and you need to begin putting together your estimate, but you wanna to put together a great estimate. You wanna put it together in the least amount of time and you want it to be reader friendly so that the adjusting company, the insurance company, the policy holder, whoever's gonna be reading that after you're done is really, really pleased with the estimate that you put together. This is how you're gonna go ahead and import the six figure macro or any other macro that you're 
working with directly into the estimate that you're working in. Once you're in here, go ahead and go to tools on the side, then go down to copy from project. Once you're in there, you're gonna see this screen, go over to project to copy from, drop down a list. You're gonna see all of your claims right here and you wanna go ahead and select whatever estimate you are looking to paste into that estimate. If you're looking to merge estimates or dump in the six figure macro. So as you can see, I got multiple different six figure macros that I created for all the different companies that I work with. But for this one, I'm just gonna use the general one, which is my favorite one. I'm gonna select scope, copy, and just like that, Xactimate is gonna go ahead and paste all of the data from one estimate into this estimate. Now, if we go back into sketch, you can automatically see things are a little bit different. I've got tabs down here. I've got tabs over here. I've got stuff in there. I've got rooms set up because if we go over to estimate items now, you can see that already we have a structure to the estimate. We have a tree of items so that everything is properly organized so that everything makes sense. It's not chaotic. We have a clear vision of what we need to do. And then right down here are all of our macro folders. We have a macro just for roofs, macro just for elevations and exterior, macro for the living room, living areas that don't have plumbing in them, the living rooms, bedrooms, closets, things like that. We have another folder just for the kitchen, laundry, bathroom. Those are the rooms that probably have a vanity, cabinets, and tiles and things like that. Those are two completely separate things. I never think it's okay to have hundreds and hundreds of different macros and different scenarios because there are so many different scenarios you're gonna run into. If you try to get so specific, you're gonna spend more time just finding the right macro than just creating a couple simple folders and putting the line items in there and getting rid of the ones that you don't need. And what's great too is this gives you an opportunity to actually add notes here. If you're a guy like me, if you're working with several different insurance companies, several different adjusting companies, you have a lot of different guidelines lines that you need to work with. You need to service all of your clients in different ways. And that could be very, very difficult. So this gives you an opportunity to put some notes in there, you know, make sure you don't depreciate masking for paint, make sure you don't depreciate more than 50%, make sure you uh, put the line items in uh, starting from the exterior elevations rather than the roof, things like that. So now that that's over with, I gotta get working on an estimate. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss out on awesome videos like this. And make sure you check out the Xactimate Gold Training Suite, only available at adjuster-university.com. Link is in the description below. Go check it out and good luck out there.